Okay, now let's move to example question. Okay, from the question, the question is what are the possible ROC? So when we talk about possible ROC, you know that for ROC, we have three types of ROC. We have right-sided region, we have two-sided region, and we also have left-sided region. So, if you are asked to determine what are the possible ROC, definitely you must determine the range for each region. Okay, so for you to determine the range of each region, you need to determine your poles. Okay, where to get the post value? You can get from denominator part. Okay, so when I say denominator part, definitely you know that it is referring to this part, the lower part. Okay. You can straight determine your denominator part. Alright. Okay. So, here I give you the solution. Okay. So, what you have to do is. Okay. This is our XZ. Okay. So, in our XZ. Okay. We have numerator and denominator part. Okay. My advice is you expand your your function to this to this transfer function okay if you don't want to do until this part okay also as long as you can easily determine your post okay so post value you get from denominator part so from here you know that your post value is equal to 0 0.5 and 10 so basically you have two poles value okay so after that you need to identify from the poles value you need to identify uh, <coughs> innermost pole and outermost pole Okay, so basically from this post value, your innermost pole is 0 0.5. Your outermost pole is 10. Okay, that is why if you look at this diagram, Okay, you can see we have this. Okay, so if you look at this diagram. So, if you look at this diagram, 0 0.5 is innermost pole. 10 is outermost pole. So, the region of convergence, the, the, the poles is represented by a circle. Okay, we have... Okay, our post value is Z equal to 0 0.5 and 10. Okay, so real imaginary. So we have 0 0.5 and then we have another circle which is 10. Okay. So what happened? Okay, now from here we need to determine the ROC. Okay, so what happened? For you to determine the ROC, of course you need to know what is your innermost pole, what is your outermost pole.
okay so and for you to get to get your roc you must remember the definition of each region okay so you must remember the definition of right sided left sided and what is two sided definition okay so by definition right sided region is the region outside outermost pole okay so right sided region outside outermost pole this is for right sided okay for left sided it is by definition region inside innermost pole two sided is region in between two poles okay so basically from here you know okay right sided region is region outside outermost pole so your outermost pole is 10 so it is outside outermost pole so basically for right sided region the range is from is greater than 10 okay what happened to your left sided left sided the region is less than i mean i inside innermost pole your innermost pole is 0 0.5 so that is why you have z plus 10 0 0.5 what happened if you have your two side what happened to two sided two sided is by definition it is in between two poles so in between two poles okay your poles is 0 0.5 and 10 so you have 0 0.5 and 10 so that this is your possible ROC so if you look here okay we have modulus we have modulus we have modulus okay why we have modulus modulus is to show that for ROC we just consider the region at the right side region okay for roc sorry not right sided region we just take the roc at positive side okay what happened to negative side negative side okay each pole is represented by a circle okay so if you look at this point okay 0 0.5 the reverse of 0 0.5 is negative 0 0.5 same goes to 10 the reverse direction of 10 is minus 10 so basically for chapter 6 for roc for z transform the region we just consider on the positive side okay why negative side is actually the repetition the reverse direction of positive side okay okay next we look on the function okay as i did mention earlier right sided signal right sided region is represented by un left sided region is represented by minus u minus n minus 1 okay 
so how to know it is right sided or or left sided okay this one you can easily get from the determine roc just now okay so basically how to determine your roc from the post value okay so everything is interconnected okay so now if you look at this slide okay so if you look at this slide okay you can see the green color arrow the red color arrow and the black color arrow so if you look at this arrow okay for right sided region okay right sided means all your poles will approach to right okay so that's why if you look at 0 0.5 for right sided it is approach to right same goes to 10 it is also approach to right so the function to represent your right sided is un okay for left sided region left sided region is represented by the green lines okay so basically for 0 0.5 it up it is approached to left so the function is also minus u minus n minus one then for left sided is approached to left same thing the the representation of left sided signal is minus u minus n minus one okay for right sided for left sided it is very easy but for two sided it is quite tricky okay why if you look at the black at the black arrow one pointing to the positive i mean pointing to the right side one another one is pointing to the left side so what happened for two-sided okay this is by definition okay for two-sided one pole for two pole case okay so one will approach to right this is for two poles another one will approach to left okay so which pole will point to right which pole will point to left okay for two-sided region innermost pole will approach to right outermost pole will approach to left so the innermost pole will be represented will be will be will represented with un because it is approaching to the right for the outermost pole it will approach to left so it is represented by minus u minus n minus one so basically this part is important Okay, I'm going to repeat again. Okay. Right sided and left sided region, I mean uh right sided and left sided region is represented by for right sided is re represented by U N minus U minus M minus one is representing your left sided region. Okay, so how to know your right I mean your region right sided or left sided it is through ROC so where to get the ROC value it is based on your post value okay so next okay how to know in a post pole approach to right or left okay so basically if you look at this diagram okay for right sided region for right sided region all the poles will approach to right okay for left sided region very easy also all the poles will approach to right uh, to left but for two-sided region it is a little bit tricky okay so what happened for two-sided region innermost pole will approach to right outermost pole will approach to left 